Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 learners. Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 2. Part 2 ito ng letter B. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung part 1, yung addition and subtraction of radicals, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Ngayon ay mag-focus tayo sa multiplication of radicals. Okay? Ito yung mga cases in multiplying radical expressions. Number 1, multiplying radicals of the same order or index. So, apply the rule. Nth root of A times nth root of B equals nth root of A times B. So, imumultiply mo lang yung nasa loob or yung radicand niya kapag pareho sila ng index. Kapag naman magkaiba, if the radicands are the same but different indices, you have to change them into similar index. Kailangan mo silang gawing similar index. Binomials can be multiplied using distributive property or applying the rule of special products of algebraic expressions or binomials. Katulad nitong number 9, ito ang pwede nating i-apply. Okay? So, dito sa number 7, we have a given cube root of 3 times cube root of 9. And as you can see, pareho sila ng index. Pareho silang cube root. Kaya ang gagawin lang natin dito, multiply lang natin yung radicand. So that is cube root of 3 times 9. So 3 times 9 is equal to 27. Okay, ngayon, kung pwede pang masimplify yung nakuha ninyong sagot, isimplify ninyo. And as you can see, yung 27 ay perfect cubes. So, anong cube root ng 27? That is equal to 3. So, the final answer is positive 3. So, ganun lang siya. Next, number 8, square root of 10 times square root of 2. So, magkapareho sila ng index. So, ang gagawin lang natin, i-multiply lang natin yung radicand. Since square root yan. So, 10 times 2 is equal to square root of 20. Hindi perfect square yung 20, pero mag-isip kayo ng factor ni 20 na perfect square. Anong perfect square yun? That is 4. So, ang factor ni 20 ay 4 times 5. Para pwede nating ilabas si square root of 4. Anong square root ng 4? That is 2. At ang matitira sa loob ay square root of 5. So, the final answer is 2 square root of 5. Okay? Next, dito naman tayo sa number 9. Ito pala ay 6. So, distribute natin. Ito muna. 4 square root of 15 times square root of 6. And then, plus, ito, 4 square root of 15 ulit. Multiply natin sa square root of 5. Then, simplify natin each parenthesis. Since pareho sila ng index, so i-multiply lang natin yung mga radicands. And then, yung coefficient, i-multiply din natin. 4 times may invisible na 1 dito, ba? Kaya 4 lang yan. And then, square root of 15 times 6. Then, dito naman, 4 times 1 equals 4 din. Square root of 15 times 5. Nakuha? Okay, simplify. 15 times 6 is equal to 90. Plus 4. Square root of 15 times 5 equals 75. Then, mag-isip kayo ng factor ni 90 na may perfect square. Obviously, that is 9. So, 9 times 10, yung factor ni 90... Then, ano naman ang factor ni 75 na may perfect square? Pwede yung 25. So, 75 divided by 25 equals 3. Nakuha ninyo? Okay. So, ngayon, ilabas natin yung mga square root ng perfect square. Ang square root ng 9 is equal to 3. 
So, kopyahin natin yung 3. Then, ilabas natin yung square root ng 9 na 3. And then, kopyahin lang yung natira na square root of 10. Plus, 4. Ang square root naman ng 25 ay 5. So, ilalabas natin. Ang matitira na lang ay square root of 3. Nasundan. And then, simplify na. 4 times 3 equals 12. Kopyahin yung square root of 10. Plus, 4 times 5 equals 20. Square root of 3. Pwede bang i-add ito? Hindi pwedeng i-add kasi magkaiba sila ng radicand. So, meaning this is now the final answer. 12 square root of 10 plus 20 square root of 3. So, ganun gamitin yung distributive property. Dito naman sa number 10, we have a given negative square root of 3 times quantity of square root of 15 minus 4 square root of 6. Distribute natin ulit. So, ito, multiply natin dyan. Negative square root of 3 times square root of 15. Minus. Dito naman, negative square root of 3 times 4 square root of 6. Ito yung minus sign ay yung itong nandito sa gitna nila. Okay? Simplify. Since magkapareho sila ng index, pwede natin itong multiply. So, square root of 3 times 15 minus, dito naman, negative 1 times 4 equals negative 4, square root of 3 times 6. Sundan? Okay. And then, simplify, negative square root of 3 times 15 equals 45. Minus negative 4 square root of 3 times 6 equals 18. Then, kunin natin yung mga roots nila. That is negative. Mag-isip kayo ng factor ni 45 na may perfect square. Ano yun? That is 9 times 5. Minus negative 4. Ano naman ang perfect square na factor ni 18? 9 din. So, that is square root of 9 times 2. Then, ilabas natin yung mga perfect square. Square root of 9 equals 3. Then, kopihin natin yung negative dito. 3. Ang matitira sa loob ay square root of 5. Minus negative 4. Ang square root ng 9 ay 3. Ang matitira sa loob ay 2. Nakuha ninyo. Then, negative 3 square root of 5. Minus negative 4 times 3 equals negative 12 square root of 2. Since magkaiba sila ng sign, hindi natin pwedeng isubtract. So, kopihin lang natin, negative 3 square root of 5. Negative times negative, magiging positive. 12 square root of 2. So, this is now the final answer. Negative 3 square root of 5 plus 12 square root of 2. Okay? Yun lamang mga anak. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin kung paano mag-divide ng radicals naman, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!